Today marked the first day of the 2018 legislative session, and uh, before I talk about the priorities of this legislative session, I just want to highlight some of the accomplishments of the historically productive 2017 legislative session. Uh, we provided emergency health care relief for people facing uh, high health insurance uh, premiums. We also uh, stabilized the health insurance market with uh, reinsurance here in the state of Minnesota. We passed Real ID, uh, Sunday liquor sales, uh, and those three or four things are in addition to the $46 billion bipartisan budget that really focused on a long-term transportation plan for roads and bridges. Uh, we passed a tax relief really targeted to middle-income families, senior citizens, farmers, students, and small businesses. Uh, that tax relief also included uh, income tax reciprocity uh, and additional resources for our cities and counties uh, throughout the state of Minnesota. We also focused on uh, additional resources for E-12 education and higher education. We passed a bonding bill that fully funded the Lanesboro Dam, uh, Winona State University's Education Village, and a number of other infrastructure projects uh, throughout the state of Minnesota. Now looking ahead to 2018, uh, I believe the priorities for the upcoming session will be tax conformity. Our federal government uh, passed a significant uh, tax relief package uh, in December. Uh, now we have the opportunity to conform to that and streamline the tax filing process for Minnesotans here in, uh, here in the state of Minnesota, as well as provide some additional relief uh, for Minnesotans so we can fully take advantage of that tax relief package uh, passed at the federal level. Uh, additionally, I think we need to uh, fix the MINLARS, the license and registration uh, fiasco that's going on in the state of Minnesota. We can sit back, we can point fingers, we can blame, uh, but that's not going to do anybody any good. So I think it's time for uh, the legislature uh, to really take a hard look at this. And instead of criticizing, let's work together with the governor and his administration and try to fix uh, this significant issue facing our state. Also, we need to address the opioid and drug epidemic that's uh, facing our communities here in Minnesota and, frankly, the, the entire United States. And finally, uh, I think we need to look at a bonding bill, a, a reasonable uh, bonding bill that focuses on core infrastructure projects uh, throughout the state of Minnesota. Uh, so those will be the priorities uh, for the 2018 legislative session. As always, uh, feel free to send me an email, uh, sen.jeremy dot miller at senate dot mn or call my office here at the capitol 651-296-5649 uh, your feedback is incredibly important uh, in my decision making here at the capitol and uh, i'll end with saying it's it's absolutely a, an honor to represent the people of fillmore houston and winona counties here in the minnesota state senate